Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video guys, we're going to talk about how you can save a thousand dollars for your next trip. Now guys, this video is so important to me because I really feel like when you're traveling, when you're starting your travel journey, you need to have like a legit plan on how you're going to pay for your travels, right? My mission on this channel, I've said this a plenty of times, but I want you guys to be able to incorporate travel in your life. So travel multiple times a year, maybe every quarter you take an international trip, whatever works for you. But again, my goal is for you guys to start traveling many times in the year. So to make this happen, you need to have a way of coming up with the money to travel because the worst thing that you can do is take your money that your rent money, your whatever money and putting it towards your travel. That's not what my channel is about and that's not what I want you to do. So that's why this video is important to me because I want you guys to create like a system on how you can save money to start traveling. Take your first trip, book your next trip, whatever it is. And I picked a thousand dollars because I know that a thousand dollars can get you uh, to many corners of the world. And again, it's so doable for a lot of people. So the first thing you have to do is create a savings plan. Boring, I know, it's so boring. But like any other goal in your life, you need to have a plan. How are you going to accomplish this goal? You're going to do whatever works for you. So here's the first method, the first method to saving a thousand dollars for your next trip. What you're going to do is break up that savings goal over the course of how, how many ever months that work for you. Say, for example, you decide to save for three months, then that's going to be $333 per month that you would have to save. If that doesn't sound good, you can do that over four months, six months, whatever. If six months works for you, then $167 per month. If a year works for you, if, if 10 months works for you, then that's $100 a month. If there's no rush here, it's not a race. This is all about making it work for you. Remember, this is just travel. This is supposed to be something fun and enjoyable in your life. It's not supposed to cause you a headache. The second method and what I did when I first started traveling when I was much younger, this was just more doable for me, was that I would save for certain aspects of my trip, save for that one thing, pay for it, move on to the next one over the course of like three to four months. For example, the first thing I would focus on is saving for my plane ticket. Say for example, I'm going to Guatemala, my plane ticket is $300. I would focus on saving for that $300. So maybe over the course of, say I gave myself a month to save for it, right? Over the course of that month, maybe the first week I save 100, maybe the second week I save 10 bucks, the third week I save uh, another 100, the last week I save the rest. That's just what worked for me when I was younger. So if you wanna do this method, it's cool too. It, to me, it's just a lot less stressful um, doing it piece by piece, but just whatever works for you. The whole point is you need to have a game plan. Okay, now that you have a game plan and you know how much money you need to save for a month, now let's talk about how you're gonna get the money. So the three methods we're gonna talk about today is saving and cutting back, going real old school, earning extra money, and the third one is uh, getting it for free. Now let's first talk about getting travel for free. Now I made a whole entire video all about this, how you can travel for absolutely free. It's 100% doable. I'll link that video above and below if you wanna check that out, but make sure you watch until the end of this video before you go to that video. So when saving for your trip, I think you should start right here. I think you should see what you can get for free. There's many ways to get a free plane ticket, free accommodation. There are many ways. And I recommend that you start with trying to get one of those two for free since it's the most expensive part. So for example, to get a free plane ticket, you can do travel hacking. You can build miles and put it towards a free plane ticket. You can ask your family member and friends if they have miles that they're not using. I got free, free miles from my mother for American Airlines. You can apply for a program and get a free flight. That's how I got to Japan. The program that I was doing, I had a free flight to Japan, to and from Japan. So there are many ways of getting a free flight. As for accommodation, you can do a work exchange program. You can use the websites WorkAway, Woofing, you can house it, you can be a upar. And also I got free accommodation when with a simple Facebook post. I posted on my Facebook timeline that I was going to Europe. Just from that Facebook post, I was able to find somewhere to stay in 
London, Belgium, and Amsterdam. So guys, again, there's so many different ways of getting free accommodation in flights. So I advise you to start right here, try to knock off something off of your budget because it's just gonna be less things to pay for and then less things to save for. All right, next, let's go old school, saving and cutting back on things. Again, remember to start with the amount of money that you need to save for. So like, for example, if it's $100, what can you cut out that's $100 that you spend in a week? And I advise you to start with something big. Don't start with the little things, uh, the little things that bring you pleasure, like your $3 coffee in the morning, uh, or maybe a 99 cents that you pay, that you spend on a game on your phone. Don't start with those little things, because those little things, you would have to cut off a whole bunch of them, and that would just be annoying and just make this whole experience annoying. Say, for example, every Friday night, you go out with your girlfriends and you spend about $50. That's what, $200 a month. How about you decide to go out with your girlfriends every other Friday? There you go, you have your $100 right there. And what if you decide to do it for a shorter period of time and you need to save $250 per month? Cut out the drinks with your friends, so there you have $100 off, you did $150 more. After you cut out the big things that are taking out a chunk of your money, I would go to other things in your life like getting your nails done, getting your hair done. Again, I know it sucks, but it's just temporary and I think it's worth it. Maybe you don't have to cut out both your hair and nails, but why don't you just cut out your nails, do your nails yourself, still get your hair done, maybe cut out Netflix, Amazon Prime. Do you really need three different um, streaming subscriptions? All right, after you see where you can do some cuts, um, saving and all that jazz, the next thing you can do is see where you can bring in some money. So guys, on my channel, I do wanna talk more about earning money online. There's many different ways of earning money online. So I will talk about that. And that's where I think you should invest some of your time now, building something online where it, it can bring you money and you can put that money towards your travel. For example, an Etsy shop. I have an Etsy shop that brings, brings me in money. YouTube, YouTube AdSense, blo blogging. There's many different things you can do. So if you have the time now, I, just, I highly recommend that you start putting in some hours every week and building something. So again, that money, you can have that money to put towards your travels. But let's talk about how you can make some money right now. Start with a skill that you have and exchange that skill for some money. And that skill can simply be hair braiding, babysitting, tutoring, cleaning, cleaning, the, cleaning someone's house. I can do basic websites. I can do some graphic designing. I'm not an expert, but the same websites that I create and the same graphic designs that I do, it brings me money. So I know for sure that since it brings me money, I can use that skill to help someone in their business as well. So what I'm trying to say is whatever skill that you have, use that skill to bring you in, in some money. It doesn't matter what it is, again, from cleaning to braiding hair to building websites. You can offer your services online or offer your services in your community circle. But guys, use all three of these strategies to help you save money. Try to get freebies, make some cuts, uh, stop spending so much money, and try to make some extra money. I am so sure that if you do, do those three things and you're intentional about it, you will be able to easily save that $1,000. As long as you have a plan and you stick to it, you're good to go. So guys, I really, really hope this video helped you. I hope you now have a plan to save your $1,000. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.